This is Jay Neff, thoroughbred trainer and owner in Southern California with my partner, Cincy Cutter, who's also our videographer, and Lord Admiral with his new exercise rider, Enrique Zamora. He is an excellent rider, a great horseman, uh, used to work for Bobby Frankel, one of the all-time greats, and he is getting along famously with Lord Admiral. Lord Admiral has just been lounging around, eating some good food and getting plenty of rest since his last race. He's uh, gained a lot of weight. He's had a real turnaround physically. He's relaxed. He's gained a lot of his weight back. In fact, he's back up to the weight he had when he won in November, and that's a really good sign. We made a couple of big changes in his equipment, and those of you who've been watching all along on these videos, We'll see if you can notice the change. It's pretty obvious. It helped him relax and took away a certain amount of restraint. Hi, lad. Don't you look handsome today without that nose band? And that was Cincy with the answer, no nose band. Now, you can see here plainly there is no restraint around his uh, nose to keep his mouth closed firmly around the bit. A study was done that showed the nose band helps control a horse much better. They steer much better with the nose band in most cases. But with Lord Admiral, we found that he was much more relaxed without the restraint of the nose band. Now here's the nose band that he used before. It's called the figure eight nose band because of the way it loops around the muzzle twice once behind the bit and once in front of the bit. We also changed from the Houghton bit that you see here with the figure eight nose band back to a plain D-ring snaffle and he's much more comfortable with this and he's been much easier to gallop with it. We're several weeks away from a race with Lord Admiral. You can uh, watch this gallop and uh, get a good idea of where we stand, how he's relaxed, how nicely he's going. Uh, and uh, we'll give you just a, a little idea of what it's like to stand there and uh, train horses and hang out with the horsemen. And you can listen to trainer, owner, and breeder Melody Conlon uh, give her uh, thoughts on how to operate a racing business. So, so we got to get the stall app in for oh, yeah. Del Mar. I wondered when that was going to happen. I don't have to do that again now for three more years. <laughs> yeah, famous last words. Well, that's the only place I can see a horse coming from. <laughs> yeah, well. Never say never. You never know, Mel. Probably next month you'll have a horse. I don't know from where. <laughs> well. Now I should take Hector Palma's business advice. And what's that? To take out a line of credit on my house and buy some horses. <laughs> uh, yeah. That sounds like a good idea, Hector. Oh, God. I'm actually doing okay do doing my lessons. I mean for a horse. Oh. I'm just going to take whatever happens, whatever my mare produces. That's my, it's going to be my, and my who's, horse. Who's the sire of this one? Stanford. He's a Malibu moon. It's his first season. Well, I just is that, can't. Is that Northern Dancer family? It's um, AP Indy. Oh, okay. Seattle Slip. Bold ruler. And then he, the, I think the mayor's a distorted humor. Well, that's Mr. Prospector? Yeah. I think so, yeah. I'm sure there's plenty of Northern Dancer in there. Somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure there is. And then my mayor has a lot of Storm Cat and Mr. P. That's Northern Dancer. Notice we're still waiting for Lord Admiral and Enrique to uh, begin their gallop. <laughs> huh? Unbelievable. This must be Enrique's last horse of the day. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. You can see by Enrique's stretching here as he sits there lounging on this horse's back that they're in no hurry to get rolling. And with all the activity, all the horses breezing by and galloping by and doing all their, their work out there, 
Lord Admiral never turned a hair, just as calm and relaxed as can be. This is such a great improvement in this horse, and we, we've really got to thank Enrique profusely for his patience and his, uh, his wonderful work with this horse. So through the miracle of editing, we are going to uh, get rolling here with Lord Admiral, and uh, you can just sit back and watch this nice gallop. Well, thanks for watching. I promise I'll keep you guys up to date on what's going on with Lord Admiral. Uh, if you want to subscribe, you can click on my beautiful picture here and uh, check out some of the other videos on the Triple Crown races, uh, the Kentucky Derby, Preakness, Belmont, and uh, I'll give you my thoughts on what's going on with the Triple Crown race this year.